Hi beauties, I am back with you guys today to share with you a brand new hits and misses video. These are not product empties. I'm doing more of a current hits and misses video, things that I'm loving right now and things that I am not. Go ahead and start off with my current hits because I'm really excited to share them with you guys. Um, and my first hit is one that I've talked a little bit about already on my Facebook pages. So if you guys follow me over there, um, you know I've been asking questions about hair reduction, lasers, and things like that, your experiences. Um, and I ended up getting the Remington Eye Light for face and body. And this is Remington's newest at-home hair reduction laser. I like at-home beauty treatments because I'm a little bit of a doctor phobic. I, I don't know, I hate going to the doctor's office. Like I get anxiety about it. So anything that I can do at home, I prefer to do at home. So that's one of the biggest reasons I'm really excited about this. Also, I have to shave my legs and armpits literally every single day. It's ridiculous. I feel like my hair grows everywhere really fast other than where I want it to grow, which is on my head. See, I'm weird about body hair. I don't like any stubble or anything. Um, and frankly, I'm tired of having to shave every single day. So I've been trying out this hair reduction laser. This is what it looks like. I was really shocked actually about how high tech this thing was when it showed up. When you turn it on, it sounds like a UFO was taking off or something. And this particular system is really unique because you can actually use the laser on both your facial hair and your body hair, which is pretty neat. Um, it is kind of like a high-tech system where you have to actually scan your skin right here just to make sure um, that it is an okay skin tone for the laser. Now, if your skin tone is really dark, you're not going to be able to use the laser. It actually works best on lighter skin tones with darker hair. Um, so basically, if you want to uh, do your arm or your leg, you have to scan the skin there first, then the laser will turn on. It has five different levels of intensity, so you can choose how strong that you want it to be. I'm a big baby, so the highest I've gone is to level two. So for those of you that have never done a laser treatment, basically what I do is I get up in the morning, I take a shower, and you do need to shave first. So I'll shave my legs, I'll shave my armpits, anywhere that you want a laser. Um, and then once, of course, you've gotten out, you've dried off, everything like that, leave your skin clean, don't put on deodorant, lotion, anything, um, and then you plug in your laser and you can do one section at a time so you can see just about how big this little window is right here so you kind of have to move like in a grid pattern so you'll zap 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 now this does have a bright flash you will feel like a warm sensation on level two I did notice a little bit of discomfort but like I said I'm a baby I have a super low pain tolerance but it just kind of felt like a hot rubber band snapping against my skin and it only does it I've noticed on like more sensitive areas like the armpits are a little bit more uncomfortable and down around my ankles for some reason um, I kind of feel it a little bit more um, but the rest of the way up my leg I don't even feel it at all so I just go right on along so far, I have used the laser twice. I've only had it for a few weeks. This is not something that you do every single day. Um, and I have noticed that I have to shave maybe every other day or every two days versus every single day, which to me is like above and beyond amazing as it is. So you guys let me know if you're interested in an update sometime in the fall just on my results with the laser. I can show you guys kind of like a before and after because um, I think by around fall time I should have some more noticeable results hopefully. So those were my first impressions on the Remington laser for those of you that asked how that was going. Um, and then my next hit is a shampoo and conditioner duo from Pravana. This is their Pure Light Brightening Shampoo and Conditioner. These are purple hair products for blondes, people with highlights, silver hair, that kind of thing. Um, I obviously used a lot of these when I was platinum blonde, if you guys remember. Now that I have some blonde highlights back in my hair, I'm back to using a purple shampoo and conditioner about once a week, just to eliminate any brassiness because I hate it. Because it is the most pigmented purple shampoo and conditioner I've ever seen. And I've tried a lot of different um, sort of toning shampoos. I actually wish I could pour this out into my hand because you would not believe. It's almost bordering on black. It's such a dark purple. Um, the only weird thing about this Pravana shampoo is that it is very liquidy, but it works fabulously. So I completely don't even care about that. Um, you can only get Pravana at high-end salons. I think you can probably also find it online. 
So my next kit is from Estee Lauder. This is their Double Wear Light Foundation. I have talked about this on my channel before. I find that I always gravitate back towards this foundation during the summertime when I tend to get a little more oily. Um, this is a really fabulous full coverage foundation that's great for combo to oily skin. Um, I am in the shade Intensity 2.0, which I think is really good for, I would say, most medium neutral skin tones. Um, so absolutely love this stuff. I think I might do a foundation routine using it. Next tip for me is the Shumera Brightening Powder. Comes in this cutie cute little compact. Um, and I'm kind of scared to show you guys because I actually did use almost this entire powder. It just had like some around the corners and then it shattered. Oh, yep, see I knew that was gonna happen. Now I got it in my chair. So it's really great for alleviating any purple, um, green, or blue tones in your skin, um, which I tend to have, especially underneath my eyes. So I really like to use this powder to set my concealer. Um, so I would definitely buy that again. My next hit is from Milani. It is their Bella Eyes Gel Powder Eyeshadows. And Milani did send me the entire collection of these shadows, so I will have a swatch video coming up because I know a lot of you guys um, we're interested in seeing what all of them look like, but I am completely and totally in love with these shadows. Seriously, it's like the perfect mix between a powder and a gel. So they have really awesome pigmentation. I'm actually wearing them today. I'm wearing the um, three colors I'm going to show you in a second. So the first one is called Bella Chiffon, and this is like a highlighter, a shimmery type color, just a nice light um, creamy white. Um, the next one is Bella Mandarin. This is a satin matte, and it's sort of like a coral color, which is freaking gorgeous. I don't have any other shadows like that. And the final one that I'm wearing in my crease is the Bella Gold, which is a gold metallic. Love these shadows. Like I said, I'll be having a video kind of dedicated to these coming up because I love them so much, um, and I'll be showing you what all of them look like. But my next two hits are both mascaras that I have been completely in love with, like literally lusting after these babies. They're so good. The first one's from the drugstore. It is the new Revlon Bold Lacquer by Grow Luscious Mascara. I really like the packaging, it's really pretty. It reminds me of a peacock. Let me just take the wand out for you guys. So as you can see, it has a nice, really thick bristled chunky wand which I always absolutely love. It is a pretty wet formula so you have to be careful not to get it on your eyelids which I tend to do all the time but because it is such a wet formula you really get in there you get a ton of volume and I think the biggest thing I've noticed with this mascara is how long it makes my lashes look like it literally looks like I have lash extensions or like I've been using a lash growth enhancer or something really really awesome it keeps your lashes nice and moisturized so loving that new um, Revlon Bold Lacquer Luscious and my next mascara hit is not from the drugstore but it is a new release and it is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara and this mascara really blew my socks off like I'm so in love with it I'm actually wearing it on my lashes today Again, a really thick and chunky wand. This mascara is a bit more creamy. It's not quite as wet and liquidy. Um, so it's really gonna separate your lashes and just give you a ton of volume. Also really great for length. It's super black, it's not messy. It makes your lashes look really long, really thick. Um, highly recommend checking this out the next time you go to Ulta or Sephora. So a couple more beauty related hits. This one I am so excited about. And this is my new lip gloss organizer. And I'll put the link to where I got this down below. Um, but I have already a ton of lipstick organizers, which are about half of this height. And you girls probably know if you have a ton of beauty products that when you put a lip gloss or a really tall lipstick into a lipstick organizer, it teeters, it falls out, you can't open and shut your drawers. Um, so I don't know what took people so long to come up with a lip gloss organizer, but I am in love. Um, and so I have all of my pretty lip glosses in here looking gorgeous and it's really tall, really heavy, solid acrylic. So um, I have a couple of these and I'm just in love with them. I've got all my lip glosses finally organized. And then my last beauty hit is from Beauty Sol. I think I'm saying that right. And it is their Scrub Me Citrus Face Exfoliant. Um, and I got this because um, I went to the pool with my bestie a couple of weeks ago and I literally got so burnt. 
like all here along my hairline, which is awful because then it looks like you have dandruff. Um, so I just had a ton of dead skin on my nose, like all the crooks in my face, on my forehead. I was peeling like a lizard. It was disgusting. Um, so I really wanted to get a good exfoliant face scrub because I did not have one. Um, and I stopped using the St. Ives. My husband and I both did because you guys know from my crap products video that I had that really horrific eye experience. Um, so I found a safer one that does not have scary walnut shells in it. Um, and it's the Citrus Face Exfoliant and it's been really amazing. My skin loves it. I just really gently work it in and it gets rid of all the dead yuckies. So my next hit is from David Smallcomb and you guys probably know that I am a total sucker for their hammered cuff bracelets. I love them and I wear them every single day. Like they've literally become like my wedding ring. It's just second nature for me to slip these on every single day. So I've already shown you guys um, before the thin hammered cuffs which I got first. So I'll go ahead and just take those off so that you guys aren't confused about which is which. Um, but recently I got the thick hammered cuff bracelets in the yellow gold, the rose gold, and the sterling silver. And these ones do not have um, sort of like the gentle curve to them that the thinner ones have. Like these kind of have like a bit of a wave. Just like thick, chunky, amazing bracelets. Um, but I love the hammering. It really catches the sunlight. These are super well made. Like I have to tell you guys out of all of my jewelry that I wear daily, these really truly are just amazing quality. They're really nice and heavy. They are comfortable on my arm. I forget sometimes that I'm even wearing them. And I actually first heard about these, like I said before, from Lorraine Stanick. And she was not kidding that these are the best bracelets. They go with everything. So highly recommend these. Um, and then my last and final hit is not beauty related, but I'm so, so in love with it that I had to share with you guys. You all know that I'm really into DIY, making over furniture and repurposing all that right now. Um, and I will be sharing a lot of that with you guys over on my blog. So bentleyblonde.com, just because it's easier for me to just take pictures as I'm working versus video. Um, so be sure to go subscribe to my blog to see my upcoming farmhouse table DIY, my coffee table makeover, um, my dresser makeover. I've been a busy girl. So anyways, I have recently discovered the beauty that is chalk paint decorative paint by Annie Sloan. And you guys, so good. I don't know where this has been all my life. I um, have been using sort of like really nice latex paints from Benjamin Moore for probably going on like a year now. Um, and I, you know, I always like them, but you always hear a lot of stories about chalk paint from other DIYers and bloggers. So I finally decided to try it out and I'm kind of scared because I'm afraid I'm never going to go back um, to a normal like latex or acrylic paint because the chalk paint is so good. Like it's really good. This one is in old white, which I got two quarts of to do um, my dining set, which I'm again going to show you guys on my blog. But I used this for the first time a few days ago and I just have to tell you guys, it's seriously life changing. I highly recommend if you're into um, furniture, makeovers, repurposing, refinishing, or just painting stuff. I highly recommend investing in a quart of this and trying it out. It's really thick, it has great coverage. You don't have to sand your furniture or prime your furniture beforehand, um, which is really time consuming. Take it from me, you guys. All right, y'all, so now moving on to misses. I just have a couple things that were super disappointing to share with you guys. So my first miss, I hope you guys don't hate me for this because I know so many people are like obsessed with new me, um, but this is the new me hydrating mask and it's the hydro punch one. I used quite a bit of this, like I almost completely used it up, but it's, mm, I don't know. I liked it a lot when my hair was like near death and totally dried out and straw like. Um, but when your hair is a little bit healthier, this stuff is just way, way too thick. Like even, ugh, even now it's just very, very greasy, very oily. Um, and I find that with my fine hair, if I use this, even just a little bit at the ends, that when I blow dry, I'm not getting any volume. Like it's just womp womp, not good. I just feel like it makes you like a big grease trap. I'm not, oh, in the floor and I don't care. So my next miss is a body wash from Tone. This is the Petal Soft. It's supposed to smell like peony and rose. Mm, 
nope. This stuff is pretty affordable, but I would even spend a dollar on this. Um, it's like it's the slip and slide. You squeeze some of it into your hand and whoop, it's just gonna slide right out before you even get it on your body. And if by chance you do get a little bit on your leg, it's gonna be gone in two seconds. There is nothing moisturizing about this stuff. Like do not even waste your dollar. Go buy you a pack of gum because uh -uh. my second to last miss is this candy's nail polish it's in the color do i even care the color is la 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 lilac i should have known when i seen that the only reason i bought this at kohl's was because i had friggin 20 dollars in kohl's cash i picked up this like rustic wrought iron basket and i had three i think extra dollars or so to spend so i picked this up on clearance big flipping mistake. I painted my nails and no, that's not what I'm wearing on my nails today. It looks like it, but this is actually um, Milani. Um, but I put this on my nails and then had to remove the nail polish literally the next day because it was chipping off so badly. So I don't even care if you have two or three dollars left on your Kohl's cash. Spend it on a sock or a mismatch earring. I don't, this stuff is really crappy. I think Candies needs to stick to what they know and that is shoes. Okay, so my last miss, you guys are going to make fun of me, seriously. Everybody that I put these on for makes fun of me, um, but I'm going to roll with it. Um, and I actually got these on Shop Lately, which you guys know is my favorite website. I've never gotten anything off there that I was disappointed in. Um, I'm going to be having a huge haul from Shop Lately next week here on my channel. I got so many cute clothes, um, but then there was a disaster. And it was in the form of these circus clown sunglasses. Mm hmm Girl, please. Tell me these are not the biggest freaking Willy Wonka circus freak sunglasses that you've ever seen. <laughs> when I ordered these, they did say large sunglasses. What they did not say was oversized elephantitis glasses. Like, this is completely beyond looked like Johnny Depp and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory just straight up really bad um so be careful when you order sunglasses people if they say large just assume that that means ginormous because these are mm -mm. so those are all of my current hits and misses I hope you guys enjoyed watching be sure to check out my last video where I made DIY crayon lipstick Yes, using actual crayons and coconut oil, and they are amazing. So definitely go check out that DIY video, and be sure to subscribe to my blog at BentleyBlonde.com, where, like I said, I'll be sharing a lot of upcoming furniture makeovers. So thank y'all for watching again, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye, y'all.